Yes, we're... A blessed good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, Almighty God, you have brought us to the beginning of this day. Save us today by your strength so that we may not fall into any sin on this day, but always let our words, thoughts, and deeds be directed and proceeded for the purpose of doing your justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today is the third Sunday after Easter. The service is sung Eucharist and Sermon. We begin our service with the hymn for the introit, number 169.
saints of God, and those who are joining us online, we extend to you a very warm welcome indeed. You have no idea how much pleasure it gives us that we can share in this act of worship. Our mass intentions. We thank Almighty God for last week, and we put this week in the hands of God. We pray for those who ask us to pray for them. Some ministries, special prayers to there, the members of the Mother's Union in corporate worship, as well as the members of the Health Guild, as they have their health checks after Holy Mass today, and also the members of the ITC ministry. We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, as the Bible says. And in our worship, we talk of worshiping the angels and archangels. And so we offer up uh, this holy sacrifice of the Mass in thanksgiving to Almighty God, to the Virgin Mother of God, Mary Most Holy, and the Foster Father of Jesus, Joseph Most Blessed. The opening biblical sentence, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, let us adore him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed Lord and Father. <clears throat> Eat and drink of your spiritual food. Almighty God, all hearts are open, all desires known. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. The appointed prayer, the colic, the third Sunday of Easter. The Lord be with you. Together, let us pray. O oh God, Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith, that we may behold him in all his redeeming work who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the first scripture reading. A reading from the Word of God, written in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3 beginning at the 12th verse. When Peter saw the wonder and amazement caused by his healing of the lame man, he addressed the people. You Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power 
or piety, <coughs> we have made him war. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he decided to release him. But you rejected the holy and righteous one and asked to have a murderer given to you, and you killed the author of life whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, his name itself has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that is true Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did all your rulers, in this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. The word of the Lord. Please remain seated while we chant Psalm 4, which can be found on page 473 in the Book of Common Prayer. Thank you. A reading from the Word of God, written in the first 
letter of John, chapter 3, beginning at the first verse. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are, the, we are God's children now. What we will be has not been revealed, not yet be revealed, sorry. What we do not know is this. When he, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for he will, we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Him for the gradual. 189, 187. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke, the 24th chapter, beginning at the second part of the 36th verse. Glory to Christ, Lord, at that time, when the disciples were telling how they had seen Jesus risen from the dead, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened and why do you doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see that a ghost does not have flesh and bones 
as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy, there was disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, have you anything here to eat? He gave them a piece of ball fish, and they took it and ate it in his presence. Then he said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, thus it is written, that the Messiah to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are a witness of all these things. This is the gospel of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Kindly be seated. For our biblical text, I think it should appear on the monitor sometime soon. Either your mobile device, yes, it should be there, yes your mobile device, or your Bibles, uh, the, the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 24, Matthew, Mark, Luke 24, verses 36, 37, and 48. 36, 37, and 48. So kindly take out your Bibles or whatever. I, I ask a lady, a lady first, chapter 34, Chapter 24, a lady, please verse, read verse 36. Just throw your voice, just stand and throw it hard. I'm waiting on you, I have all morning up, I can read. <laughs> a lady, a lady, chapter 24, verse 36. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Equality, a gentleman. Any man will do, any man can do. Luke chapter 24, verse 37. Just throw your voice. You get accustomed to me for the next few Sundays, so. You mind hard to find. Any man, oh yes, I have a gentleman, I can't make him out from my position. He has on a red, you think it's a red shirt? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Verse 48, any man, any woman now, anyone can do. That is Travis. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, you have your witness. Yes, see, we have part of it, all of it. Nonetheless, thanks very much. Our title for the harmony this morning upstairs in the upper room. The fear, guilt, fulfillment, assurance, proclamation. And the subtitle reality, necessity, urgency, power, present, witness. The followers of Jesus, the disciple, a learner, a student of follow, apostle, are from meaning delegate or somebody sent, or almost like an ambassador. We as Christian believers, we tend not to use that title for our ministers. Not as anything wrong, those who do use that title for the clergy have to witness according to the biblical principle, uh, the resurrection of Jesus, and have to walk with him. Those followers of Jesus were confirming, if not comforting, each other in the belief of the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus entered the room, and he wanted to remove their doubts. So Jesus showed them his hands, his side, his body, complete with the scars, to prove to them his humanity. Flesh, blood, bones, as you are and as I am. And then he, as well, he entrusted to them the task of being his representatives. Apostles, then. They were the ambassadors to be, as I mentioned. And because of their conduct, maybe the feelings of guilt, of inadequacy, they needed assurance. They were terrified as they were already. But what an unexpected appearance. The doors were locked. A resurrected body, recognizable, and yet different from the mere fact he gone through locked doors. And there was Jesus in their midst. And Jesus gave to them the traditional greeting, peace. The uh, Hebrew, Shalom Aleichem. The Arabic, Assalamu Alaikum. Peace be with you. Now, peace is not merely the absence of war. It's a totality of being. So the Jewish people will speak of Shalom, Shabbat, the Sabbath peace. It's a totality then of being as I mentioned before. And Jesus, by his appearance, stressed the reality of his resurrection. Touch me. I'm not just a ghost. I'm not merely an apparition. I'm not merely a phantom. I am real. I'm the real McCoy, so to speak. He was raised by the power of the Holy Spirit from the grave. We tend to say he is risen from the dead. The cross was not forced upon him. God the Father could have sent anyone else, an angel. But remember, he had you and he had me in mind from the very beginning, so to speak. And it fulfilled what was written that this chosen one would die for you and he would die for me. He was the only one who could remove the guilt of sin and sin itself. Our forebears, Adam, humankind, Eve, life, represented there. They were given privileges and they chose not to. And there was a blame game. Don't blame me, you know that woman. Don't blame me, you know that serpent. In our lives, we do it. We try to shift it. I'm not responsible. I come from a poor district. My mother didn't marry my, fa my father. And on and on we can go. It's also mentioned as well that following the command of Jesus, his followers were to get down from their comfort zone. Sometimes we like to think that Jesus Christ was crucified on the altar between two 
or six candlesticks. And it was a mission and a ministry, a witness. Then, for sorrow was then gone. They were to present the good news, or the good tidings, the gospel to everybody. But it had to be done with power, and it had to be done with the presence of the Holy Spirit. His presence will be with them to the end. Now, let the saints of God see if we can take home anything this morning to learn anything from what we've just heard. We also are like the followers of Jesus. Every day, we're going to have some challenge or what we would call some problem. For one person, it is greater. For another person, it is lesser. We then, in a way, are like the apostles in the cynical, the upper room. And things seem to go wrong. Why me, Lord? Why me? And then we took at Psalm 37, Psalm 23, and we realized we're not forgotten. A favorite saint of mine, St. Teresa of Avila, whose book Mark is, Let nothing affright thee, let nothing disturb thee, all things change, God alone remaineth. She's alleged to have told God at one time, I am not surprised you don't have many friends in all God, the way that you treat them. Imagine you and I being called to hate mother and father. His words, a Jewish or Semitic uses meaning love them less than you love me. Imagine being called to carry the cross, a sign of shame and degradation as well. So in the challenges of life, the boat in the storms of life, where is Jesus? He is there in that boat with you and with me. Remember some words from the Bible. He says, Lo, I am with you sometimes. No, Lo, I am with you always to the end of the ages. So when we go through our challenges, as the followers of Jesus said, he says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. And the emphasis there on the negative is a stress and to emphasize it as well. So we sometimes feel so helpless. But God is always there. And God gives us his peace. Peace be with you. You and, all, you and I can only have peace in our lives because we get it from God. So we cannot extend peace to anybody else. In our mass, we have the greeting, peace be with you, the greeting of peace. Uh, from the olden days, you wore gloves, shook hands in our modern uh, Western to prove that you did not have uh, any weapon, but also time to be reconciled to the other brother or sister who, who has ought against you or who may have something against. Yes, so we do feel helpless like the followers of Jesus, but he gives us peace. Now, we cannot extend peace until, first of all, we got it from God. So when you get it from God, you can give it. You know that old time version saying, it ain't me, it is you, you're confused. I wake up this morning and I say my prayers. It ain't me, it is you, you're confused. Strange enough, some of us as human beings, uh, we can't please even ourselves. The man and his wife were living very happily and the hen ran over the man's foot and he said, sweetheart, you send this hen to run over my foot. Just like that. So we have the peace of God in our lives to share. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ, our Lord. Like a garrison, like a fort then. Yes. But God in Jesus became a human being, flesh and blood and bones, as you are and as I am. So the scripture reminds us, he has already gone through it. 
We're not going through anything that he's not gone through as a human being. But he's being raised by the power of the Holy Spirit in the resurrection from the dead. Israel, he showed them the scars that he had. So you and I as well, we are raised from the death of sin. We are going to sin all the time. We aim at and we miss the mark sometimes by commission, we doing thought, word, and deed wrong. By omission, failing to do what we ought in thought, word, and deed. But the cross is important. It, it stresses the love of God for you and for me. How do we respond to God's love? As the Bible says, is it nothing to you who pass by? But they were to become witnesses. Now, we have a denomination, the Jehovah's Witnesses. They bear that name. And so then, the Jews were following the commandment not to take the name of the Lord their God in vain. And they're from the Old Testament, YHWH. And they would not call that sacred name. People refer to it as a tetragrammaton. But they use another word, a word Adonai, A-D-A-N-A-I, A-D-A-N-A-Y, capital L-O-R-D, in many a Bible as you would read it. And they took the vowels and put it between the W, the y, y H W H, and came out with Yahweh. But of course you can change it. A y to J and a W to V, and we come with the word Jehovah. Just trying to explain what I'm talking about. Just as we are Adventists, every year in our liturgical calendar, Advent 1, Advent 2, Advent 3, Advent 4, we believe in the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I did not say we're seven day Adventists. We are witnesses of Jehovah, witnesses of Yahweh. But so often, have you not realized? In our churches, in many denominations, we spend more time trying to get money to keep things alive, and we can forget the ministry and our mission. We have to keep the house of God good and fine and everything. Yes, that's wonderful. But sometimes because of the demands and rising uh, uh, lack of money, so to speak, so often that can happen. At the end of our Mass, or toward the end of the Mass, somebody says, go in peace and serve the Lord. What do I mean? What do we do all the time? For an hour and a half, an hour, I didn't dare sit down and get up and sing it. And he looked at me, go in peace. We expect me to do. You see, our mission begins not in here, but it begins out there. So you have to watch that. You see, as the Belgian expression is, the morning word and the evening word, they have to agree. So we can't sing the wonderful things, oh, how I love Jesus. We can't be going to, going to the church services, the Bible, the liturgy, the hymn book. And then when we invite people and they come, I uh, size wrong and pass in front of me and step on my shoe because that's my favorite person. I'm not saying you shouldn't have one. So... We invite them, and they don't anything about the liturgy, but we sing in to praise God. And we look around to say, we turn to that page or anything like that there. See, that's going out. That is ministry. You see, if I put a dog in my garage, that does not make it a car. And because I come church, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and back to Sunday, that does not necessarily mean I have a commitment to Jesus the Christ. Yes. A witness. As the Bayesian expression is, I use too many old-time Bayesian expressions, a falsehood tacker. In other words, you can get a, I know Jesus. Not that I hear about Jesus. I go to St. Barnabas Church now, but I know for myself, I can testify he has done a lot for me. I can't, it's not a repeat. Well, so-and-so told me, and so-and-so told me. No, no. Personal 
evidence gain. Yes. But we get power. The power that comes from on high. Pray God then that you and I will always have his peace in our lives. That you and I, having that peace in our lives, can share it. That you and I will always know, come wherever may, our God is always with us. That you and I will also know that we are called, as the Bayesian expression is again, we're in a pond, water bottom people. We are special people. He's died for you and he died for me. So we're very special indeed. And may Almighty God then, as he's called us, you know when he calls, he equips. He doesn't call you and leave you there. So he calls, he equips, he stands by us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We now stand and uh, have the Nicene Creed from about the year 325, the Creed of Nicaea Constantinople, led by one of the lay ministers. We believe in one God. Is the intercessor Please. here? Yes. Yes, sir. Please be seated. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ Church. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. We pray for all bishops, priests, and league deacons. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. Give to the departed eternal rest. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. Let 
Let us pray for our needs and those of others. Almighty God, to whom our needs are known before we ask, help us to ask only for cause to your will and the good things which we care not, or in our blindness cannot ask. Grant us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Act of Penitence. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen all goodness and keep me life eternal through Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. The kingdom of God is justice, peace, and joy inspired by the Holy Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Get my water bottle for me down there, please. Water bottle. Huh? It's a, a silver. Offertory hymn 186. Soul of faith. For the Lord love of a cheerful giver.
wash me thoroughly from my sins and cleanse me from my wickedness. As I wash I take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I perform my vows in the prison. Glory be to God. the presentation of the offerings. Through your goodness, Lord, we have this bread and wine to offer the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. They become our spiritual food. Uh, for those who are following us and you want to be able to turn the pages in the Book of Common Prayer, uh, please note the Eucharistic prayer begins on the page 126 with the Dominus Vobiscum, 127 with the Sursum Corda, the preface of Isis on 128, the Sanctus is on 131, and the Eucharistic rite is on the page 135. We go right back now to 126 for the Dominus Vobiscum followed by the Sursum Corda. The Lord be with you. Also with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father Almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly, I be bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he's a true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death. And by his rising to life again, he's won for us eternal life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voice with angels and archangels of all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy and gracious Father, all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness come from you through us Son Jesus Christ our Lord, whom you sent to share human nature to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts and we ask you to make them holy by the power of our spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. who offered himself in obedience to your will, the perfect sacrifice for all humankind. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take this and eat it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for many for the forgiveness of sin. Drink this all of you for remembrance of me. Christ has died. Christ. Christ. Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, 
his glorious resurrection and ascension, his continued ascension for us in heaven, and looking for his coming again in glory, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Let we favor your church's offering, and grant that we who eat and drink these holy gifts may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ and serve in unity, constancy, and peace. May you make us a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with Blessed Mary, a Blessed Barnabas, and the whole company of heaven to share the inheritance of your saints. With him and in him. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. The gifts of God for the people of God. Lord, we are not worthy to receive you. Say but the word only in our soul shall be made clean. Happy all invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Lamb of God. I just get close to Cat and Monday, Miserary Nobis. I just get to say. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ.
during the ministration of Holy Communion and Blessings, we will sing the hymns as announced. Hymn 177. For him, one hundred and seventy.
after the children, we have anniversaries of birth, baptism, confirmation, marriage, and if you're traveling. Birth, baptism, confirmation, marriage, anniversaries, and if you're traveling. The hymn 625. She had a cheerleading stunt that went fast. A cheerleading stunt that went fast. For our viewers and our listeners who want to be able to read along or say along, uh, the page number 148, 148, that is the first prayer that begins on that page. The Lord be with you. Together, let us pray. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, The solemn blessing is of the 50 days of Easter. The page number 151, 151. The first, the second one, sorry, that begins on that page. God, who through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us the victory, give you the joy and peace in your faith and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you. I remain with you always. Amen. Kindly be seated for any notices and or announcements as the case may be. The Lord is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. A blessed good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us welcome 
those who are worshiping with us this morning, all of yourselves, and especially those who are following us on our YouTube page this morning. Welcome to this act of worship. We also want to especially welcome any visitors who have joined us this morning. Do we have any visitors with us? Please give me a break from St. Clement's Church. Mm -hmm. This guy behind here, <laughs> no visitor, don't write him. <laughs> but we want to welcome him also as our pastor, our friend, our family. And we welcome him this morning. We are so thankful for, to have him with us. As usual, delivering a powerful message, replete with the little humor but a powerful, uplifting, inspirational message. So thank you, Father Guy. Okay. We want to, in our prayers this morning, uplift and uphold our parish sick and housebound, whose names you will see on the screen, sisters Ada Allen, Malta Batson-Gill, Osine Brown, Eula Keynes, Daphne Greenwich, Elsie Nurse, Elita St. Hill, Elsie Jordan, Iris Hunt, Cora Haynes, Norma Haynes, Gloria Ford, and Gwendolyn White. Please continue to remember them in your prayers and ask, pray for God's presence with them as they go through this season of life. We also want to pray and keep in our prayers the Mother's Union, who worshiping corporately this morning, our parish organization. Um, and we want to pray especially for something that they will embark on on next Saturday, the 20th. They are going to be doing a walkthrough membership drive through St. Barnabas Heights. And uh, this will be the first time that they're um, embarking on such a venture. So please keep them in your prayers as they minister to those in our community. And now we want to offer thanksgiving and celebrate with those who are celebrating anniversaries this week, especially birthdays, and particularly um, with Sister Lana Davis, who is making her way uh, downstairs. Her birthday is on the 18th, and perhaps she might tell you how old she will be on the 18th. <laughs> on the 16th? Oh, well, okay, well, my bad. I see here the 18th, but it's the 16th. Any others may also stand as well. Oh, she's coming to me. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Sister Lana. Good morning, church. Lana Davis. But I'm bringing greetings from my family. My granddaughter, she was six on the 5th of April. My daughter, she was 35 on the 11th of April. I am, and I am going to be 58 on the 16th of April. Wow. <laughs> Oh, the real April family. Oh, and we have another April person here. Good morning, my sister. Rosemary Best. I would have celebrated on the 10th of April, 70 years old. Yeah. Say it again, say it again. 70 years. My goodness. Her three score year and 10, imagine that, my goodness. That was a birthday as well? Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Holy water, please. <laughs> Sister Lana? Oh, oh, Sister Lana, you had your, your, um, your holy water ready? Rosemary, please stand. accept my apology. I should have asked those who might have had limited mobility. I should have really come to you. I'm getting back adjusted to the, what happened previously when I was here. So I accept my apologies. 
Brother Chris, may we have the birthday song for Sister Lana and Sister Rosemary, please. And we pray God's continued blessings in your lives for many more birthdays. Any other anniversaries being celebrated today or during the week? Okay. We want to express our heartfelt thanks to Sisters Eula Keynes, Marilyn King, Golderwood, Diane and Andrew, and Diane and Andrew Innes in memory of their parents, Leroy and Peggy Innes, for their contribution to the flowers um, today. We also want to thank the Altar Guild for their work throughout the year, and we're looking forward to all of your support as they prepare for our Flower Festival later this year. So please thank the, or give a warm appreciation to the Altar Guild and to the other persons. Now, in our, excuse me, one quick second. Just had to check something with, um, with Michael. I'll mention it in a while. Okay. Now, our notices continue. Remember that Reverend Dr. Williams is on leave, and during his absence, our esteemed visitor, Reverend Canon Henderson P. B. Guy, will be in charge, visitor in quotations, will be in charge of the parish until April the 29th. And his telephone number is 271-6035. You can call him to arrange a date and a time if you wish to meet with him. A little reminder, of course, the annual fair and flea market is fast approaching on the 1st of May. Don't forget to get your tickets. As usual, they are available after the service. Michael will be outside or at the back with tickets. Make sure and get your tickets. And the Health Guild is making an appeal for, the, uh, for contributions to the flea market, which is held in the center during the fair, a very popular um, stall, let's put it that way. So any items in good condition, please bring them as early as you can so that they can be sorted and so forth um, in time for the fair. So even during the week, if you're, you can come and drop them off, make, them, make sure they're clearly marked as for the flea market and leave them in the center and the members of the Health Guild will get them. So just a little reminder about that. Uh, before I go on to what's happening during the week, we have some tickets here from, okay, Saint, the members of St. Clement Anglican Church will be hosting a Mother's Day luncheon on Sunday, May the 12th at the St. Clement Church Center in Lowland, St. Lucie from 12.30 to 3 p.m. Admission is $65. We have some tickets here. Drinks will be on sale and proceeds are in aid of the church fund. So if you are so minded, please give them some support, if you can, to their Mother's Day luncheon. Now, just a little reminder that after this service, fish cakes are on sale. In this, I think you may have um, got a little whiff of, um, of the frying, smelling very good. So fish cakes are on sale after the service this morning. And our services will continue at 9.15 a.m. with some Eucharist and Sunday school. Also, after the service this morning, the Health Guild will be doing health checks. So go and get your blood pressure checked, and then go and buy the fish cakes, okay? <laughs> Tomorrow, Monday, April the 15th at 6.30 p.m., the church army will meet, and the task force meets as usual on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. All are invited to attend the meeting. If there's something that you wish to raise, something that you want to offer, you can come and attend the meeting. That's at 7 o'clock. The following day, on Wednesday, April the 17th, the Men's Fellowship will meet at 6.30, 
And the following day on Thursday, April the 18th, the Ushers Guild will meet at seven o'clock. Next Saturday, April the 20th, 6 a.m., Saturday morning cleaners as usual, uh, Barnabas in motion at 6 a.m. And then at four o'clock, there will be a road wisdom discussion led um, by, which has been organized by Brother Junior Jordan. He will speak, uh, give a few words um, after the notices. But remember also that the Mother's Union will be embarking on their walk through membership drive at the same time on Saturday. So please keep both of those events in your prayers. Next Sunday, April the 21st, the third, the third Sunday of Easter, services are as usual, 6.30 a.m. The fourth Sunday of Easter, 6.30 a.m. Sung Eucharist and 9.15 a.m. Sung Eucharist and Sunday School. Also, um, next Sunday, the Health Guild will do the health checks after the 9.15 service next Sunday. I think that's all that I have. Michael, anything from you? And then Brother Junior will come and say a few words. And thereafter, our beloved Canon Guy will say a few more words to you. Have a wonderful week and a blessed day, dear people. There's a pair of glasses here, anyone who uh, missed a pair of glasses. I don't know if you can see, to see them, but <laughs> a pair of glasses are here. Just a reminder of uh, the donations for the fair. The barrel is at the back, and those who did not remember what they have to bring, I will just refresh you all in the different sections so um, as I, as I uh, go ahead, remember that the choir, cooking oil and vegetable, mixed vegetables. Over on my left, far left, there's peas. Then here by Fran, y'all is uh, tuna and, ma and macaroni. Right in this section, right in front of me, is corned beef. To, the, to my right, the front here, luncheon meat and flour. Over, over yonder, this right here, the baked beans. And right over to the, to, to, the, to the right, the far right, the far right is corn, tins of corn. In the center, to the back, that is sardines and ketchup. To my right, mackerel. Upstairs, peanut butter. The upstairs, um, Eucharistic ministers, servers, uh, ushers. Um, their media room. And priests and priests in charge, chickens. <laughs> if you can't remember, contact me, I'll be outside. So, brothers and sisters, I hope that I will see the barrels start to come up from. Yes, there are some, but I think that we are a little behind time. So, please don't forget when you go to the supermarket, pick up a can item, please. Thank you. Good morning, church. Um, I'm going to be very brief. Let me start by saying that life as we know it is sacrosanct and cannot be replaced. And that's why Leon Blaze and myself, we've for a while now been planning this, well, this is the first one on Saturday, this series of road wisdom discussions. And Father Guy has kindly consented on Saturday to come and open it for us at four o'clock. There will be information for every single person, from children to young adults, learner drivers, vintage drivers, and every person who travels in any kind of vehicle. Of real concern to us, as I said last Sunday, two parishioners from this church nearly lost their lives at the 
traffic signals between Mount Friendship and St. Barnabas Road. It takes three quarters of a second only, that's a wink eye, to lose your life. So we're inviting all of you, bring your friends, or we're gonna be inviting other people to come in. They will perhaps be a testing officer from licensing authority who will give you insights into what your testing is gonna be like. And we have Jeffrey to back him up, and Michael as well, who are professional retired now testing officers. So we want you to invite your friends and let them come on Saturday at four o'clock, because this information you will take with us, with you, not only for Saturday, but for the rest of your natural driving lives. We encourage you to come, as I said, three quarters of a second is all it takes to lose a life. And Jeffrey told me as well that the number of people who, when they exit the church to go onto the main road, they are doing it incorrectly, i.e., you have to make the left turn, come onto the left, and then gradually make your way onto the right. There are lots of things that we will tell you that we know that some of us may not be doing quite right. We want you to get it right. Life is sacrosanct, cannot be replaced. Thank you. Saints of God, a very good morning to you. Right, a few things. I suspect in my own mind, when the roundabouts were introduced here, we did not have, I speak subject to correction, the necessary uh, education we should have had. I don't really drive at night and during the day. I've never seen such strange things as I'm seeing people overtaking me on all sides of the vehicle, and et cetera, et cetera. Number two, as preaching Charles pro tempore, I end on the 29th for temporary Latin pro uh, for temporary the time being, so I don't have to supply any chicken, Michael. I just thought that you know. <laughs> a sign on a church, a sign on a uh, a church bulletin board outside the church building, standing up, uh, flea market this Saturday. Bring along anything that you don't want. Wives, remember to bring along your husbands. <laughs> Apologies are in order. I did not read the parish bulletin very carefully, and it said some Eucharist. I was accustomed, I have to get adjusted to said Eucharist for the uh, first, um, first service of the day. Uh, remember in our prayers, please, the Ministry of the Mother's Union, right? Remember the Ministry of the Health Guild, we're going to have them this morning, and also uh, the Ministry of the ITC uh, members as well. Thanks to all those who did the cleaning, the preparation, and such like the flowers. Special thanks to my MC, to all of my altar servers, Eucharistic ministers, and to my organist and my sexton. I think I've called almost anyone I can remember at this time. As I said, I have to get myself uh, adjusted while I'm here for the time being. And so I wish you during the week a closer walk with God. I would wish you emotional peace, avoid toxic people, negative situations, run away or walk away. I wish you good physical health, and I wish you financial peace and security uh, as well. Thought for the week. Thought for the week. Sometimes, because God sees ahead, he put pauses in our lives for his own purpose. Sometimes, because God sees ahead, he puts purposes in our lives for his own purpose. And then, our biblical passage daily. Our biblical passage daily. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall 
prosper. Uh, did, I, did I thank my organist? Yeah, yeah. yeah good. At 78, the brain doesn't always work as I would want it to work. That's it. The humor for the week. The preacher was trying to get people to contribute to the church roof. And he begged, he begged. Those who were making contributions were asked to stand up. Asked them to stand up, stand up. And nobody stood up. And then the organist played the national anthem. <laughs> the preacher was saying, talking about the evils of drinking alcohol, how bad it was, how terrible it was. And he went on and he went on and he went on. And he said, all oh, this alcohol, we should go down and throw all of it in the river. Draw all that alcohol in the river. And then he said, the next in his shall we gather the river. <laughs> Recessional Hymn 183. Jesus. 